Namaste. In NIOS video, today we are going to study English for senior secondary level. Lesson 7. The name of the lesson is Reading with Understanding, Part 2. Let's begin. In part 1, we have explained all the difficult words which has come between in, the lesson, in this lesson. Now, let's begin with the lesson. Before examinations, many students are under tremendous stress. But, it is not just the students who are stressed, teachers and parents too faced the same situation. They are equally tensed as the child. I have to ask one question from all of you. Why do people get stressed? Adolescents are faced with the demand of their developmental task and that of a complex society. They need to acquire skill of adjustment to emerge into adulthood unaffected by these demands so they can easily manage the work life and their life. If they lack these skills or if they too many demands are made on them, they fail. Students are anxious as they are worried about whether they would be able to live up to their expectations of their peer, parents and teacher. Students feel overburdened sometimes and find it difficult to cope up. Optimal anxiety motivate and keep them ahead while over anxiety 
is disabling. Sometimes over anxiety made us fail in the work which we has doing from past so many years. Over anxiety can make us worried about little things. Anxiety is contagious and passes on to other students, teachers and parents. Adolescents when stressed out tend to perceive everything as emergency. Some of the reasons for increase in stress level are identity crisis, the need to make career oriented decisions, teachers and parents attitude and peer pressure, the inability to communicate with parents also plays a major role. Inability to make communication with parents makes students in lots of stress. Good memory depends upon a good brain. The brain needs a good supply of oxygen, glucose, calcium, phosphorus, and iron. So make sure you sit in a well ventilated place when studying. So from mind, you can feel relaxed and enjoy the process of studying. It is important for one to have a good memory or a good brain. Your diet should include milk, cheese, Walnuts, wheat gram, 
green leafy vegetables, ragi and dates. Do not forget that breakfast is the brain food. Fatty meals, sugar and acid take away calcium from the system. Diet rich in fiber like fruits and vegetable help to reduce stress. Good concentration is important to improve the memory, learning and memorizing by understanding and recalling what one has learnt is helpful. Organizing and framing a logical relationship is important. Mastery not just of the content of the subject but also the process of answering is equally important. anxiety and fear hamper recall and result in a mental block during examination. Watching Television for a long time could lower academic skills, it steals away the reading time. Time management is about self-discipline. Time must be managed between filed and unfiled times. File times is time we spent sleeping, bathing, eating, dressing and attending school. A student has 10 hours of unfilled time. How best is the student going to utilize this time, make a timetable for 10 hours? It is important for you all to sleep 7 to 8 hours.
sleep to 8 hours is necessary for optimal physical rest and brain functioning. Positive thought is the seed of a positive result. Always feel positive. This will help to lessen the stress. It's important to take 7 to 8 hours sleeps maximum. If a student has symptom of anxiety or depression, seek middle decal help immediately. Thank you. Namaste.